The Controller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ibrahim Ali, retired CFR. The Controller General of Nigerian Correctional Services, Haliru Nababa, FICMC, MFR, MNI. Distinguished members of Nigerian Customs Management here seated. Our guests relations and spouses of officers that are about to be decorated friends from the media ladies and gentlemen good morning and welcome to the corporate headquarters of the nigerian customs service what we are about to witness is indeed a grand event that marks the transition from one from one rank to another and we are delighted and happy to have you in our midst this morning before we commence today's activities i would rise and take the second stanza of the national they just recite the second stanza of the national anthem at the count of one two three O oh god of creation direct our noble cause guide our leaders right help our youth the truth to know in love and honesty to grow and live in just and true great lofty heights attain to build a nation where peace and justice shall reign thank you very much you may be seated before would graciously with the kind permission of the CGC um, like to introduce beginning from at the head of the table um, the controller general of customs himself in the person of Colonel Hamid Ibrahim Ali retired CFR and indeed today we have uh, our guests also um, the Controller General of Nigeria Correctional Services in the person of Haliru Nababa, FIC, MC, MFR, MNI. You're welcome, sir. Also in our midst, we have um, members of Nigerian Custom Management, and uh, I will start from the left-hand side of the CGC, and uh, the legal advisor to the service in the person of of Mr. Smart Akande, to his immediate left and in charge of the Tariff and Trade Department is DCG Talatu Meru Isa. I will move a little to this side and in charge of enforcement, investigation and inspection uh, to the immediate right of the Controller General of Nigeria Correctional Center is DCG Elton Adore. And then... <laughs> We'll move to the other side and in the immediate left of uh, the DCG Tariff and Trade is the DCG in charge of human resources uh, development, the person of DCG Hamza Gumi. From the Nigerian Customs Command and Staff College uh, in Guagualada is the Commandant uh, and also the ACG Adewali um, Adeni. <laughs> Sorry, uh, sorry. I, 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 please pardon me. When I introduced the, the DCG tariff and trade, I did. The, it was a slight. Uh, you did forgive me. And also for the DCG uh, um, enforcement, investigation, and inspection, both are recipients of the distinguished national honors of MFR. Thank you. To the immediate left of the ACG and the commandant of the Command and Staff College is the DCG responsible for handling the affairs of the Controller General, the person of, a sorry, the ACG, <laughs> in the person of ACG Mohammed Abakura. <laughs> please pardon me. Uh, I, I guess I'm overwhelmed by the excitement of the day, so please you pardon me. 
Uh, to his immediate left and from the Human Resources Department is ACG Obi Ekwalo. And to his immediate left from Enforcement, Investigation and Inspection is ACG Usman Dakingeri. To his immediate left and from Strategic Research and Policy is ACG Bid Ayaun. Indeed, as I said earlier on, it's a great day, and I'm sure most of us at the end of the day will be living here heavily delighted. Um, we have our soon-to-become ACGs, soon-to-become controllers, and uh, other persons, you know, down the, the rank. And we, with no further ado, begin the process. I would uh, humbly request that um, the CGC may... We, we may need to move this. Exactly, sir. <laughs> exactly, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, at this point, I would uh, please implore the DCG Enforcement Investigation and Inspection to please um, assist the Controller General. Oh, sorry. Is it the spouse? Yes, oh. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, spouse is requested. So, Please, we would like to invite uh, Mrs. Itoto to help accompany the CGC. Mrs. Itoto, please, make her welcome. You're welcome. It's, no, just come and be with... <laughs> It's so it's so nice to have you here. I guess this is where Oga cooks the 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 dinner that he brings home every month end. <laughs> so uh, I to invite the first on the list and the person or soon to become ACG and the person of confirmed sorry confirmed in the in the person of ACG Greg Itoto. Itoto is from the state. He was nineteen sixty eight. Joined in nineteen ninety. Itoto has worked in over two as area controller and coordinator of Dream of his recent posting and is the secretary to the General Custom Service Board. ACG Itoto is from Edo State. Congratulations. Your MNI FSI. PSC Daga. Let him read. ACG Itoto is indeed. had an officer that has distinguished himself in the service he is in charge of the board the secretary to the board of the Nigeria Custom Service he has had an illustrious and distinguished career your, 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 come. your come. Watch the camera. The camera. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was lovely. Congratulations, ACG Itoto. Next on the list. Is confirmed a 
ACG Felix Oku. ACG Festus Okun was born on 7th of September 1966. It was said by to assist the Come on the way. ACG first is Okun, born on 7th September 1966. He is from Ondo State. He holds a Bachelor of Science Honors degree in Sociology from Ondo State University. He has a Master's in Public Administration from University of Lagos. He also has a Diploma in Data Processing Unilag. He was enlisted into the Nigeria Customs Service on 21st of August 1989. He has served as the Customs Area Controller in charge of PTML Command and presently the Zonal Coordinator, Zone C Headquarters. ACG Oko has had a distinguished career in the Nigeria Customs Service and has Shown leadership quality at the initial point. They is in the affairs of Zotsi in Pohakot and is doing incredibly well. <laughs> Madam, today you are a DCG. So you collect <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, sir. What's the first name of Congratulations, sir. At this point, we'd like to invite the spouse of confirmed ACG Shaibu to please assist the Consular General in decorating the husband. Madam, please come all the way. You are most welcome. All the way here. Yeah. You're welcome, Madam. ACG Ibrahim was born on the 17th day of March 1963. He lives from Nassau State. He has a BSc in accounting from ABU, MP Laboratory Accountant University of Bumisho. He was enlisted into the Nigeria Customs Service on the first day of April 1989. He was previously served as Customs Controller, Post Clearance Audit, ZC, and presently he is the ACG in charge of Finance and Administration in the corporate headquarters of the Nigeria Customs Service. Congratulations. Hmm? Yeah. Which one you bear? Congratulations, ACG Ibrahim. Picture. Uh -huh. Thank you. Pictures. No, no. Zoom. Where's Zoom? Please. We, we, we will employ us, please, to make recordings. We have our camera crew and the official crew from uh, the various media houses. Uh, and we are streaming live. This, this event is being streamed live 
on all our social media platforms um we would make a little bit of an adjustment on the program uh, because indeed we have in our midst um uh, a guest who has come here not just as a guest to the nigeria but because he has a special interest in the service uh and because he has spread out time from his very busy schedule we don't want to keep him for too long uh, at this point we'd like to invite the controller general of the nigeria correctional service to please assist the controller general of customs sir the slight adjustment is because we have um also to be decorated a newly promoted uh deputy controller uh and we would want him to take that before he takes leave of the customs headquarters so we'd like to invite um 40139 uh, the person of confirmed DC Abu Bakr promoted <laughs> promoted deputy controller of customs he was born on 15th April 1968 he is from Sokoto state he had a BA MLS and PhD in library and information science from Bio University Kano he joined the service on 1st of January 1991 and he has previously served in Kasena and Custom Headquarters. He's currently with the Customs Intelligence Unit Headquarters. assistance we know you have a very busy schedule yes okay okay sir so uh, thank you sir thank you so much sir.
I'm glad to see so many uh, smiling faces here. Um, for those that are next in line uh, for the decoration, would implore you to just come down and uh, have this thing done in the shortest possible time. The CGC, sir. Um, I would like to invite the CG Enforcement Investigation and Inspection to kindly assist the CGC. Stand up now. Next in line to be decorated is 39472 Controller AA Shitu. Controller AA Shitu was born on the 27th of November 1963. He's from Kwa State, holds a Bachelor of Science in Statistics from AAU. He was enlisted into the customs on the 31st day of August 1990. He has presently served in Plateau, Bailey, Nasara, Apapa, and presently Deputy Controller Investigation Customs Headquarters. Congratulations. At investigation, Controller Shitu does a stellar job, even though a lot of people are wary of going to investigation to see him. But at the end of the day, I'm sure they leave with a little bit more confidence than they went in. Congratulations, Controller Shitu. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> It's appreciated. It's appreciating all of you for being here, <laughs> and we join in that appreciation. Congratulations! Is Sally for being? Is it? No, no. Next in line will be three nine eight nine seven controller O A Sally to assist the controller general of customs. Is the DCG in charge of human resource development? Controller Salifu was for it. He requested for it. Controller Salifu was born on the 20th of October 1964. He is from Benue State and he holds a bachelor degree in economics from the prestigious Amadou Benue University in Zaria. He has an MPA, Masters in Public Administration, from University of Lagos. He was enlisted into the Nigeria Customs Service on 1st of January 1991. He has served in FOU Zone A, Tinkan Alam Pod, and is presently with the SRMP Department of the Nigeria Customs Service. Controller Salifu currently holds brief at Strategic Research and Policy Department, where he is part of a think tank that uh, constructs policy on behalf of the service. We would like to congratulate you for attaining this rank. Thank you, sir. Would at this point like to invite the spouse of Controller Z A Chiroma, who will be assisting the Controller General in the decoration of Controller Chiroma. Madam, please. We are glad to have you here, Madam. You are among friends and family because in the Nigeria Customs Service we consider all of us as one big family. So at this point we want controller uh, sorry 39558 controller Z A Chiroma born on the eleventh day of November nineteen sixty five. Controller Chiroma who is from Bono State has a Bachelor of Science in Education from the University of Meduguri was enlisted into the state for the thirty first of in the Customs Intelligence Unit 
Apapa Area Command of Nigeria Custom Service and presently is on the 16th audit Custom Service. At Systems Audit, Controller Chioma is the head of the all seen eye of the Nigeria Customs Service. The all seen eye is the eye that sees all activities of all officers in the ports and the contributions they've made in doing this wonderful job are immense and indeed worthy of praise. Congratulations, Controller Chioma. And thank you, Madam. We would also like to invite the spouse of Controller GM Omali to please come and assist the Controller General in decorating your husband. You're welcome, madam. We are delighted to have you in our midst. Controller Omali. Controller Musa Omali was born, to, uh, born on 7th of June 1966 from Benue State. He holds LLB from Ahmadu Bele University Zaria, LLM Ahmadu Bele University Zaria, and a PhD from University of Nigeria in Suka. Federal Republic, he has a Federal Republic Medal First Class. He was enlisted into the Nigeria Customs Service on the 24th of September 1991. He has previously served at uh, the Federal Operation Unit and C, Tinkan Island Port, and he is presently the acting controller in charge of headquarters of the Nigeria Customs Service. Controller Mali is an accomplished author and he has written a lot of books, um, some that dwell on the activities of the service. And in his unique career, he has. <laughs> congratulations, Controller Mali and Madame. Congratulations. Stay, stay. Mm -hmm. to channel should be getting ready. We would also like to invite Mrs. Chana to assist the controller general in decorating her husband. You're welcome, madam. It's nice to have you among us here at custom headquarters. You're welcome. Chana, he is from UB State. He was born on the 27th of January 1965. We enlisted into the Nigeria Custom Service on September 1993. He has presently lived in MLC, Motila Women Airport Cargo, he is presently in the Customs Police Unit. Congratulations. Chana just concluded his training at the military uh, college and um, Basawa and uh, <laughs> he did extremely well there and is a worthy representative of the service and we are glad to have him here at headquarters. Congratulations. Congratulations to you too, madam. Next on line is Controller Binga. I will request that Madam Mrs. Binga also comes to assist the Controller General in this decoration. Good. You're 
welcome, Madam, to the corporate headquarters of Nigerian Customs Service. Nice to have you around here. 41131 Comptroller MP Binga. Comptroller MP Binga was born on 24th December 1965. He is from Tarabat, has a degree in accounting from the University enlisted into the Nigerian Customs Service on 24th of September 1991. He previously served in Patakot, one area command, Idu Yoko area command, and also now presently with the TNT department of the Nigeria Customs Service. Comptroller Binga is, is a very gentleman indeed, and uh, he conducts himself, uh, you know, in the most exemplary fashion. And I've known him for a long time, and I must say, this is younger in service. Get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, madam. Uh -huh. Group pictures, please. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Bamanga spouse. Next in line is 41292 controller AC Bamanga. Controller AC Bamanga was bo sorry, it's sorry, it's to be assisted by um, the DCG HRD. <laughs> Controller Bamanga was born on 3rd of January 1964. He is from Adamawa State. He holds a Bachelor B.Tech degree on in statistics from uh, Fuji, Federal University of Technology, Yola, Modibo Adama. Now, he was enlisted into Nigeria Customs Service on the 24th of September 1991. He served in the board, uh, board department, Zombie headquarters, and he is presently with the auction and overtime in headquarters of the Nigeria Customs Service. AC Bama, or Controller Bamanga. <laughs> Next is the master of the ceremony, and to do that is uh, to assist the controllers of custom is DCG Tariff and Trade, DCG Palatu Mere Isa. <laughs> the National PRA of Customs, DC Tini Bomodi, was born on 7th June 1967. He is from Bayelsa State. He has a bachelor degree in management from Uniport University of Patakot. He was enlisted into Nigeria Customs Service on 23rd December 1991. He previously served in Patakot 2 area, Patakot 2 area command and Apapa area command. He is presently the Customs National PR. To me, the model, his face is in the public domain trying as much as possible to sustain the dignity and the image of Nigeria Customs Service. No wonder his choice is easy to and to defend the Nigeria Customs on issues relating to revenue 
and ended up with a very well on the IRS team yesterday. Congratulations, controller Timmy Bomodi. Congratulations. Next on the list is um, uh, 42055 AA Ardo. AA Ardo woke up this morning as chief superintendent, but he will close as assistant controller. Please run on. Uh, 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 to assist the controller general of customs is the commandant. Major Customs Commander Staff College, ACG Wale Adeni. AC Alto was born on 14th August 1970. He is from Niger State. 1970, if I get it right, he is from Niger State. He has a bachelor degree in political science from University of Meduguri. We have a lot of Meduguris here. And he was enlisted into Nigeria Customs Service on 1st of January 1992. He served in the Nairobi Command, Tariff and Trade Command, a Tariff and Trade Department, and he's presently with the Human Resource Development Department of the Nigerian Customs Service. Okay. Thank you. Mm. We will be inviting the ACG uh, to assist. No, Control America. Continue, continue. Next is 41954 M. Momo. And to assist him is the. Momo is not there. Is Momo around? Next is CSC A. Jamilu 36531. And the SCG headquarters will be assisting the controller general to decorate CSC Jamil. He was born on 12th of October 1969. He is from Berichi State. He holds a bachelor degree that is BA History and International Studies from Nova State University. He was born on 23rd of March 1988. And he has previously served in Lauren and Sunny Area Command. He is presently with the headquarters of the Nigeria Customs Service and the secretary to the CGC, Controller General of Customs. And energy. I would say, let us bring the August table back so that we can position the position is chair. We deeply appreciate the efforts that you put into this exercise, and we are indeed grateful uh, for all that you've done this morning. We are abiding strictly by the list that was generated uh, prior to this time and the instructions of the CG that just one officer from each cadre should be chosen to represent and it ends at the last uh, rank that 
um, uh, we have just decorated. I would at this point invite the Controller General for his remarks, sir. The members of the management, members of staff of the headquarters, other officers, spouses, friends, relations that are here today this morning. Let me first and foremost begin this speech by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for bringing us here and keeping us alive and continue to give to us the strength to be able to serve this great nation. May I, on behalf of the entire officers and men of the Nigerian Customs Service, congratulate these officers today that have been decorated and those that will be decorated subsequently by the head of departments and those that will be decorated in their various commands. I've already said it, and I know you know it very well, that promotion comes with a lot of responsibilities. But every step you go in your service, you add, and you become more visible. There's two underlining facts. Uh, the instrument you will use to guide you, to propel you, to excellence. First is that you know that the moment something is added on your shoulder, you are expected to do more and you are expected to give more. Secondly, you will become more visible and more responsible because if you are an AC and you become AC, your your the expectation on you is more and you'll be more visible because you'll be given assignments that will get you to be visible and most importantly is that you are expected to behave better than an AC. So let me congratulate all of you and say this is a step forward and for many of you the sky is your limit. Thank God in the Nigerian Customs to Service today, we have been able to, as much as possible, streamline our processes with regards to promotion. We have a standing operational procedure. I want to say here, I was with the control of, uh, <coughs> of uh, prisons uh, services. And when we were discussing, and he said, thank you for the promotion of my brother so i said no first thank god that's the first being to be thanked secondly appreciate your brother for working so hard because i would not promote him if he had not worked hard so for me it's just making sure that the guidelines are followed i do not play a role in getting you promoted the only role i play is to make sure that we keep in tandem with the standing operational procedures. And I want to assure every customs man and woman that if you work hard and maintain a good conduct and you pass your exams, I bet you promotions is at your beck. So let me use this medium to once again impressed on all of us to take our job seriously. I do not have to say this, but I have to say that the nations depend on us to generate revenue. We must do all that we need to do to get that money collected. We must also work hard to ensure that we facilitate trade because that is what will bring in the revenue. Wherever you find yourself as an officer, you must conduct yourself as an officer in or outside uniform. The responsibilities on all of us is to ensure that we do not disgrace the service 
And by so doing, by that commitment, it means in what you do in your duty, uh, in on duty and off duty, you must always behave as a responsible officer wherever you are. And I'm proud to say, so far, very well. Our attitude gradually is changing. We are taking this service seriously. We're now realizing why we are in this uniform. I've always said it, that once you make up your mind to wear this uniform, please give it that respect that it deserves. There are millions out there who would want to be like you, but they're not there. They're not here. So it is a great opportunity out of 200 and something million people that you, 15,000 of us, are today representing Nigeria in this service. It is a great thing of pride. And I expect us to walk with our heads high. But make sure that whatever you do, remember that God is watching you. I always say to people that you have a policeman that is embedded in you. God is so kind that he gave you a policeman who is embedded in you and that's your conscience. Everything you do, whether good or bad, your conscience will only tell you. If it's a bad thing, you will know. You know. Up, uh, up initial. The only thing is that if you decide to step it down and do what you want to do, that is your choice. But God has given you some, something to guide you, to tell you this is not right, this is right. So please, let us listen to our conscience. Let us listen to our conscience in whatever we do. I'm sure you will 99% not go wrong. I don't want to take too much time because I know we have a lot to do, uh, especially for me. Uh, and I'm glad that we caught this thing so short. Those of you who were not aligned here for the uh, rehearsal, and I expected to be this, I'm sure your respective departmental heads will take charge in terms of uh, your ceremonies. I want to once again thank you all and congratulate the spouses for working and keeping our husbands very alert and able and they are able to deliver the best that they can. We congratulate you, we thank you and appreciate you and we look forward to a more promotions to your own spouses and then good life, health, healthy life and most importantly most important, well articulated officers. Some of us will be falling by the side very soon. But what we expect that we are leaving behind is a solid service that we'll look back and be proud of. And I'm looking forward to that. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Thank you very much for that wonderful speech. I'm sure a lot of us will leave this hall a lot more or better equipped to execute our mandate. Uh, the program is gradually an end, but this is on behalf of the newly appointed officers, ACG Greg Itoto, FSI, MNI, PSC, Daga. Mm -hmm. DCG Hamid Ali, retired CFR. All DCGs here present, all ACGs here present, all very senior officers of the Nigerian Customs Service here present, um, members of the press, and It gladdens my heart this morning to be part of this ceremony.
this is this uh, this, uh, may I use this opportunity? May I use this opportunity to express our profound gratitude on behalf of all newly promoted customs officers here, especially those that have had the opportunity created by your person. Sir, in your remark, you, you did say that you have given us uh, the possible uh, the, the the leverage to deliver uh, that we can by this promotion on behalf of all the newly promoted officers reciprocate by telling you we will and we will deliver <laughs> we will not disappoint you although there might be errors here and there as we do our work Kindly forgive when those errors arise. I think, sir, sir I, I, I know it's difficult because I have worked with you for quite a time now. I, 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 I reach the of the standards. To err is human. I, we, we believe in you. We, we believe in you. You have led us our right. You are straightened up. And we are grateful. Let me equally say, for the spouses here present, thank you for tolerating us. The job has taken us here, there, and yonder, far and wide. And we are happy that you have been able to mold us and keep us at peace at home. For those of us that still have our marriages intact, to our wives, we say thank you very much. Continue in that spirit, and we will not disappoint you. Thank you all, and God bless. Thank you very much, ACG Itoto. That speech was actually made on behalf of all the newly appointed officers. Uh, we do know that there is a clear distinction between uh, officers of your cadre and uh, those of us that are still in the popular area <laughs> so on behalf of uh, promoted officers newly promoted officers i would like to um, invite controller musa ombali to give his remarks uh, i was going to say that because i know i'm not competent to speak for the ACGs. so my speech will be in respect of the controllers the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. The world and all that dwell therein, He has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? He that has a clean heart and a pure heart, and does not leave his soul to what is deceitful. This is the generation of them that seek the face of the Lord. And it is against this background that I have been making this remark. And I have been talking from the position of personal experience. To be promoted from a deputy controller to the rank of a controller is not an easy task. The road is always not easy. You heard when the controller general said, apart from passing the exams, inter alia, you maintain good conduct. You have to maintain good conduct. And good conduct often should be subject to an objective test but at times we make it subjective and when we make it subjective it depends on who is interpreting what is amongst the good conduct so having passed the exam only not sufficient when they interpret good conduct it may favor it may not favor and that is one of the hurdles to have, to have been able to cross this hurdle is a great thing if you allow permit me let me use the biblical injunction. It is easier for the camel to go to the eye of a needle than to be promoted from a deputy controller to a controller. <laughs> and having achieved this, we are aware of the enemy's tax bestowed on being a controller. And we pledge 
But wherever we find ourselves, is it in enforcement? Is it in revenue? Is it in administration? We shall endeavor to maintain the three R's of the custom. To reform, restore, and then raise revenue. We pledge our own lawyer support that we shall do that. And to this end, Mr. Controller General, we thank you for this feat. All other Mr. Hans. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Controller Mali. We have done what camels cannot do. <laughs> and uh, with this, we have come to the end of this remarkable occasion. I want to thank all the, the Controller General himself who took out time to pilot this, the affairs of today's event and all of our family and friends that have come from you know near and far to be part of this memorable occasion uh our apologies to those who for one reason or the other you know could not uh you know be fully involved in the exercise it was uh due to directives as uh, given um we would want to conclude this exercise by uh taking a group uh, photograph I think we'd like to invite uh, the newly appointed ACGs to take a group photograph first with the controller general and then with other members of management. Yes, sir. No, here, here. We just move the. Mm. This way. You come, come now. The controller should be getting ready, please. Yes. So, other members of management, please can join the CGC. With that, we've come to the end of the activities. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for your time, sir. All right, sir. Do have a lovely day, sir.